You're welcome to Apostolic Message TV. I believe this message is out to bless you. Get your pen and paper. Let's go learn something today. As you do, please make sure you subscribe. God bless you. Apostle Joshua Selman in this video gave details of what it was back then when they tried to have their first crusade. He would say, forget about the accolades. Don't let the shine deceive you. Now we move with protocols and all, but it really started somewhere. Listen to this encounter and I'm sure you're going to learn something from it. The question I have for all of us is what have you learned that you think qualifies you for the next level you so admire? What have you learned? Lord, I want a prophetic grace so that when I see people I can call their names. It's obtainable. But are you willing to pass through? They came and asked Jesus. They said, can you grant the mother of James and John that my son to sit one at your left and one at your right? Jesus did not say it's impossible. He gave the condition. Can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism? Hallelujah. When I sat down here, I held Jimmy's hands and I spoke a word to him. I said, Jimmy, we have been helped of the Lord. That's what I told him. I remember our first crusade. That is a, the car spoiled by three o'clock we were on the road. Crusade would start five o'clock. But the car had spoiled. Everything to raise. It's not that we could not. It's not that cars finished. There was no money. There was no wisdom. There was no nothing. There was anointing. We got to the crusade ground and our ladies then. There were few ladies. They were part of the welfare department. They were still in the worship team. They were still part of the counselors. Our ladies climbed trees to plug firewood. Ladies, not men. They climbed trees to plug firewood. To prepare food fast. Before we rush to the crusade ground. Then they will quickly take their bath and be part of the worship team. We were not plenty then. So when we call the sick out, you will go to a sick body one by one. It's not this general one that they will say, if you are healed, come out. Everything you were taught will, will work there. And you know some of those women, if they are not healed, they will tell you they are not healed. It's not young people who will say, okay, let me just pity you. Ah, is there pain? Yes, it's still there. Do you know it was a miracle how we paid for where our auditorium was? We returned back. They were almost locking me up because of 150,000 naira. I couldn't afford it for the sound. I prayed, I fasted, I sowed seeds. I was waiting for my scholarship to come. Let me pay everything with it. It was not up to that and several things. And after that pain, six months of untold pain, the Lord spoke to me and said, next year you are going there again. That's God for you. This is, that's his voice. These are the kind of voices that you know you don't need confirmation. It is God. So then death walks in us. That life will walk in you. He brings you to a point where much more than the gift, he captures your heart. That's where he's going with all this journey. He brings you to a point where much more than the word of knowledge, much more than the flamboyancy. Please, I'm speaking to you. You're my treasure, my priority. Who can compare with you? Great is the measure of your royalty. Oh, morning star, you truly are everything. Ha. If you were to see Apostle Selman at this stage of his life, would you even take him seriously? This is grace. Thank God for grace. Honestly, 
all I can see here is a celebration of grace. These men have paid their price and now God is using them mightily for our generation. To even think that Apostle Arome has raised and ordained apostles like Apostle Dechuku and Apostle Oropo is a great one. We pray for God's servants and we pray that God will keep keeping them on fire for our generation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you.